Really interesting. I mean, it is a huge significance to, to see anything related to cigarettes back on TV. Yes, but these ads are nothing like the ads we used to see back in the 1950s. There are no cartoon spokespeople. <laughs> there are no catchy jingles. Instead, these new ads are really focused on the technology behind these cigarettes. So they feature lab technicians in white coats, and they zoom in on these microprocessors that shows the technology. Remember, e-cigarettes work by heating a liquid that is laced with nicotine that turns to smoke. And that's what you actually inhale or vape. That's the new verb that they've coined. The fact that Reynolds, though, is returning to TV is very significant, and it reflects the fact that the FDA has yet to weigh in. There's no regulatory certainty around this. They've yet to weigh down the law. And in the meantime, these spots are going to start airing next month in Colorado, where I will say it's also legal to smoke a small amount of marijuana. Um, but no Joe Camel, you know, laughing and partying with people. <laughs> right. This is high tech and technical. Okay, so and this is a growing, a, a, an emerging but growing market. I mean, how big could this market be? Yeah, all the big tobacco companies are getting in on it. So, for example, Lori Howard um, bought up Blue E-Cigs, the, the second biggest brand in the market. They paid $135 million for them last year. Um, Marlboro maker Altria, they're coming out with a new cigarette. Interestingly, though, the market leader is Enjoy Kings. That's a startup company. They've got, you know, Sean Parker on board. They've got Bruno Mars on board. I spoke to the CEO last month. He's expecting to make billions of dollars in sales in the next few years. That's significant. Currently, wow. the market is worth about $1 billion. Analysts think it could hit about $2.5 billion by 2018. $1 billion is still just 1% of the overall tobacco market. Mm. But the key thing, again, really that will determine the trajectory of growth is what the FDA has to say.